Looks like we're getting started in just a moment, folks. Thank you for joining us, Battle of BC5. We're going to be determining our winner of Ooh. Melee Doubles in just a moment. Also, if you like the tank top that JMook is rocking, that is some of the Battle of BC5 merch. Looking great with the Game Boy Advance, right? Game Boy Advance? Yes. Oh, and we're just starting. Okay. Can't even chill for the merch, Vish. There's not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right into it. Game one. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, and, and this is kind of like the p exact positioning that we saw on winner's side that was so successful for Axe Amsa. Mm -hmm. Axe just kind of sits down under a platform. If he can find a back throw against uh, any of them, it's great. Against Jmook specifically, even better. Yeah. Yeah, Axe Amsa has gotten like first and seconds pretty much this mm -hmm. uh, entire season. Only really losing to like Jmook, Cody, and Club Hbox. So out here to make a statement if they can win this. Nice jabs. Yeah, that was really nice um, from Axe there as well, because a lot of times Axe will kind of drop down and hit with like a nair or a up air as he's falling off right. that, that jabs, but instead just goes to ledge as he sees the fox dipping super low. Yeah, I totally, like that. Totally. Super, super patient, gets gummed up on top platform though, so Cody finds that kill. A little oh. bit of time for the 2v1, not oh, too God. much damage. But it felt like a lot. <laughs> it's uh, the mental damage. The man. mental it's damage like, is there. Like, God, oh, I just got owned. Yeah. This hurts so bad. There's definitely mental damage in melee for sure. Right? There like is. certain things just hurt. And you feel bad. Double up smash, knee knee, triple knee. Things just hurt. Ooh, Axe is just getting a goodie bag right there. Both of Red Team coming over to our, towards that ledge. Mm -hmm. Big pick up, not enough to kill off the top yet, so Axe has to swap to Cody now. Yeah, I think at that particular percent, maybe you try to go, like, send off stage again, but it's a, it's a tough thing to do, because, I mean, Amsa could also, like, pick up off of that up smash right. as well, right? Yeah, and we've talked so much about in doubles the importance of, like, when to stop your rinse and repeat mm -hmm. and not tunnel in these situations, so I think just take away a little bit of the mental there, go for the quick hit, switch targets, move on. I completely agree. Tunnel visioning is a great way to, to put that. Spending too much time on any one particular thing in doubles can be pretty bad. Yeah. Cody and Axe both getting the same idea now. Amsa caught in the fray. Mm -hmm. See, Jmook just playing the zone out now, so can't support his teammate. And Amsa is just losing stocks left, right, and center now. Yeah, Cody playing hot. That was a nice edge guard sequence there on the on the Yoshi. Wow, Ooh. nice. The coverage. Where can you even go? You can't even like try to drift away and then drift back right. because that, that forward smash from Pikachu just goes so far in front. So it's kind of a checkmate situation. It's a tough position for Sheik to be in in singles, so if you throw another teammate right there that could just cover all of it, <laughs> uh, yeah. you're in for a bad time. What are you going to do? Ooh. Caught up a little bit. Axe dies from that? Wow, that's really unfortunate because that was off of Amsa nearing him, right? Wow. Okay, Cody needed to not... Uh, Cody needs to not up B and basically just trade stocks there in order for Amsa to die, but he'll live to see another day for now. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be how long can Amsa live here? Not long. Not long enough. <laughs> not, <laughs> not long. long. Yeah. We've seen Axe do some stuff, I believe. It's just tough, man. Because, I mean, oh, great needle. Because even like the percent that you build up from Pikachu, right? We talk about that a lot in terms of like up air. It's just, it's not very much. Right. So. Is Look at how much respect Jmook is giving too. He's like, Cody, you can you can go fight here, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, you got this. I believe you. That's so hard. I mean, Jmook is already incredibly hard to hit in singles. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, it's yeah. Nah, it's a kill. Yep, just patiently biding his time until he can find the grab, high enough percent for the guaranteed kill. Jmook, Cody, first on the board here, mm -hmm. on their way back for a reset. Five more games stand in their path potentially they want to make this huge reset, but we're going to see some adaptations here from Axe Amsa. And even in the previous sets where Jmu Cody did win, it was still pretty close. It was like 3-2 right. um, at Collision and whatnot. So here's how this is going to go. Man, Axe and Amsa have been teaming for a long time, right? I feel like the first time they I have. saw them was like yeah. Smash Summit 5 in like 2017. It was a long time ago where they so came up with like the Egg Static <laughs> yeah. like, uh, team it's name. It's so long ago to think about like how long these people have been playing yeah. just with each other and in, and on teams like this too. It's yeah, so and, cool. And on the flip side, like Jmook and Cody were, like Jmook was the person that beat Cody at his first tournament, something yeah. like that, right? So it's just... Way back in the day over in Syracuse. Just must be nice, man, to make it on the big stage there with your boy. Mm. Must be cool. All right. 
Lots of talk coming through from Team Ecstatic. We're going into game two now. What are we looking at? Battlefield again. Hmm. Okay. Interesting counter pick here. Because Sheik is quite strong on a stage like this. Um, but I think, you know, Axe has crazy up B angles and whatnot that you can do off the ledges. Right. Or off the platforms, rather. Yeah, I, I don't think either with. of them particularly, like, want to go to FD, even though it went so well for them in uh, in the winner's side right. set. Right. So, like, you keep some platforms, especially so Omsa can keep moving around. It gives a real some real estate for Axe to just camp underneath one of them and find a grab. Mm -hmm. Nice pickup right there. Not going to kill. I agree with you. It's oh, really, no. really the movement from Omsa here is just so strong on a stage with platforms like this. Sure. But... Hmm. Wow, great pickup from Axe there to keep Amsa alive yeah. with the air dodge. Even getting forward air into up air there from Amsa's end was really nice, because it didn't look like too much could be done from that edge guarding position. And again, I'm singing the praises of, of Blue Team's edge guarding so, so much right there. Jmook gets pushed off stage, and the, the positioning was a little bit awkward where maybe Axe would want to go to ledge there. Mm -hmm. And they just know their role so, so well. Axe is like, I know Ams is going to be there. I'm going to wait for him to go to ledge, and then it's just such an easy up smash for me at that point. Yeah, and I also think they're really good at switching the roles when they need to, yeah. right? It's, it's really impressive to see. It's what we come to expect for top-level teams, but still love seeing it. Lots of damage on the right side here. Up air is going to put Amsa on top platform, but that means a lot of movement to mm -hmm. come through now. Not going to quite get the KO off the top. Nice. Really good pickup. Uh, just slides to the ledge right there from Axe. Yeah, and even amidst like Jmook throwing the needles as well on the right side ledge. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the eggs. The eggs coming out. Cody feet planted on center right now, <laughs> letting Axe do all the dirty work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and Axe isn't, like, getting too destroyed in, like, some of those 2 on one situations. Even when Amsa was throwing the eggs, it wasn't too bad, right? Because the eggs do, like, take up a lot of the stage. Yeah. Even on Battlefield. Yeah, just roll right out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Not on a platform. Don't you can't really shield drop, so just roll right out of there. Okay. Easy pickup from Cody. 2v1 for just a moment. That's so <laughs> many hits. <laughs> Double jump armor, all the down smash hits. That's the thing. Only oh, one of the hits has to break the threshold. Multi-hit mm. moves. Common myth! Mm. Oh! Wow, nice decision from uh, from Axe to back throw there so that it pulls Cody into J Mook's fair. Right. But it didn't result in the kill. Mm -hmm. Offstage okay. right now. Both of them offstage. Oh! oh! Okay, saved for now. Mm -hmm. I mean, even getting one KO there I think is pretty good from, from the blue team. Not too bad. Oh, Pikachu not able to make it back. Yeah, that was pretty tough distance, and also Axe was a little bit too low, where I think if he Skull Bash first, it would have been dicey to find that ledge in time. Right. So now Omsa's stuck in the 2v1. I think if we're thinking about characters, because we brought it up before with um, Sheik Falcon, I think you want to have Yoshi as the 2-on-1 guy? I don't really know. I, I, I'd have to think it's about tough, this. It's tough, right? It's tough. Because I, I don't as really know soon the right as answer Omsa is. goes off stage, you just go for like, yeah, you know which are which moves can break your armor at that percent. Yeah. And then it's just like uh pretty pretty linear pick up there, so it can be hard to say. But Yoshi yeah. can blow up some people pretty quick. Yeah, and so can Pikachu, I guess, with the off stage plays. I'll have to ask them what they think about that in terms of who can do the two on ones better. Mm -hmm. That but being said though, Cody and Jay Mook definitely warm from their set earlier with uh, SGJ Shroomed. Absolutely. Looking They're down a three O to reset. They're looking good so far. They're looking great. They're looking quite dominant. Way different from what we saw in the previous set. Talking strategy, talking baseball. Baseball. Is, uh, are they baseball? I don't baseball know. fans? I don't <laughs> just, know. There's just a podcast a called Talking Baseball, I'm pretty uh, sure. Uh, uh. Hmm. They're talking Pikachu. They're talking. They're talking Yoshi. Just mythical beasts. <laughs> Mouses. Dinosaurs. Mice. Mice. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot in here? What's it's going hot on in, here? It's hot in here. It's hot in here. <laughs> what, the, what is this? You know, actually, okay, so Shroomed and um, S2J were talking about how they wanted to approach, because they wanted the run back with uh, Amsa Axe, right? They were the right. ones that got defeated by Amsa and Axe earlier. And they were saying, like, all the games were pretty close, but it really came down to, you know, them surviving, uh, Axe and Amsa surviving, and um, 
the opposing team not being able to get a grab at the crucial percents yes. to get the KO confirms. And I think that's going to be super important to like really identify the percents as to when you can get the KOs on the Pikachu and on, on uh, Yoshi, and then try to get a grab or something that will right. KO um, all the time, right? Like a guaranteed KO setup. Yep. Which is difficult to do because I think once those percents are hit, they're going to be looking out for it as well. So. Okay, no. a angle's a little bit weird for Axe to find that kill, but Cody will die there. Stocks are even now, seven apiece. Wow. Just kidding. Wow. Slightly to red. Mm-hmm. Amsa just no fear jumping in right now. Low percent Yoshi is a scary thing. Yeah, with the double jump armor, you, you're, you're all right. Just jump in. Just jump just back jump. in. Just jump. Why not? Just take the upper and air. You got this. You got this. Oh, great okay. jabs into Pikachu back throw. Not going to be quite a GIMP setup, but a yeah, scary position. This has been the other difference maker, too. Almost every recent back throw Axe has gone for so far, Jmook or Cody have been able to snap to ledge from it. Right. And it just completely removes any possibility of the edge guard happening there. So Axe is kind of just like, ah, well, damn. Okay, I'm going to go with the other guy now. Yeah, especially with how good Cody is off the ledge. You kind of just have to respect it, yeah. right? Like, oh, you're back on ledge. You're probably going to do some invincible option. Let me go to the other guy. Okay, both off stage. Ooh. Not quite getting the uh, upper that sends you back off stage. Can you get the edge guard here? Not quite. Okay, Axe forced in the 2v1. J move just hanging on for dear life with this stock. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Tail Did whip's you... only going to lower the defense right there. Oh, not quite fast enough to get to ledge before J Mook. J Mook is still not dying. J Mook's DI is insane. Yeah, still can't find it either yeah. just because Cody's there to just mix up so much. Right. Nice. Great cancel. Ooh. Oh, is that that actually KO'd off the top? Jamuk's still alive. <laughs> Jamuk is still, <laughs> still, still alive. alive. <laughs> what is going all right, on? All right. Everything's fine. Keep your oh, hands man. and feet in the vehicle. No okay. big. Okay. Yeah, and Jamuk's just instant spot dodge on wake up, right? Just knows the back throw's coming. Right. Okay, they're taking a little bit of time. Gets the back throw, but yeah, the back throw hasn't been netting too much. I mean. Perhaps go in. I, I know like the, the risk reward is great if you do get like the nice huge edge guard setup, but it yeah. just really has not gotten anything other than the damage of the, the throw, right? Wow, nice. These edge cancels are so beautiful from, from Axe though with the down airs. Okay, Amsa in a bad spot, and it's just a double back air off the side right there. I don't think, yeah, Amsa did not have his jump either. Mm -hmm. Axe will trade one back, but they are falling behind fast. Yeah. And that percent, you're not going to get the KO as Pikachu as well with the up smash. So what's going to happen here? Oh. Yeah, and, and this is like the perfect situation for Axe to be in, right? Amsa has all of Jmook's attention. He needs to find that kill on Cody every single time. Yeah, he got the pop-up up air um, and maybe was trying to go for the up air that sends you off stage. But I mean, the pop-up up air also gets you a nice combo. Sure. So. Okay, nice from Amsa. Grab ledge. Where are you going, Axe? Okay, plenty of time. So many stocks right now for Jmook. But he might lose all of them right now by virtue of Cody having to go for the stock trade. Quick up smash, and we're back to even now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be how long can Amsa survive here. It's going to be a pretty long time, especially because Axe is doing such a good job, like, distracting him. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like being in the fray. Quick two-piece from Cody. Mm -hmm. Promotes the knockdown. Not going to get too much more. Now Jmook's turn to get a piece of the Pikachu. Oh, wow. These double forward airs from Jmook have been so good. Okay, still no jump from Amsa, though. Has to be an air dodge again. Now Axe has to save if he wants the 2v2. Right. Yeah, not letting Amsa land there is so big to continue the edge guarding. And oh, that's, reset. That's a reset. That was a fast reset, Walt. It was a super fast reset. For sure. My gosh. Yeah, they look totally locked in right there. And I and I do think some of it is is just Cody and Jmook are super warm. They're mm. playing to their game plan perfectly now. They're not getting caught up in the in the weird mid-tier action that's happening there. Yeah. But Axe and Amsa's game plan, too, just kind of fell apart in those later games. You know, yeah. Axe couldn't find early pushes off stage. Amsa can't find the 2v1s for edge guards. It was just like a really tough situation to be in where red team can just out-tier them, mm -hmm. do a bunch of damage, and then find the kills when they need them. Yeah, I think it was really also Jmook not getting KO'd for such a long time on the Dreamland pick 